It's been a long, steep fall from here to here. The courtroom where suspended Senator Patrick Brazo faced his accuser today. A woman who can't be identified testified that Brazo assaulted her two years ago. Prosecutors showed photos of damage within the home. Brazo allegedly pushed the woman down these stairs. She described being hit, dragged, and grabbed by the throat. Photos entered as evidence showed images of bruises on her body and scratches on her back. She said Brazo ripped her pants down, popping the button on her jeans, and tried to digitally penetrate her. Also among the evidence, a torn bra and this torn photo of happier days. The alleged victim said Brazo had become angry when someone she knew posted Facebook messages about the Senate expense scandal, goading him to pay back the money. The messages weren't from her, but she says Brazo blamed her anyway. These events led to Brazo's expulsion from the Conservative caucus. Our understanding is that these are uh, matters of a personal nature rather than the Senate business, but they are very serious. Then came suspension from the Senate. Brazo ended up working as daytime manager at this Ottawa strip club. On the Hill today, most of Brazo's former colleagues had little to say about the case. Uh, the case we made against me, found guilty, he should be punished. But one had kinder words. Uh, when, when he was in caucus, I respected his views. I know, you know, you may say, oh my God, how, how do you do that when he's done all the, allegedly done all these things? But I can say, at that time, he, he seemed like an excellent appointment. The opposition say Brazo's appointment was a mistake to begin with. There were all kinds of flags, warning flags about Patrick Brazo before he was chosen for the Senate. Why would the Prime Minister choose him out of all the potential First Nation leaders in the country to a position where there was uh, no, no chance of firing him? Brazo still faces many hurdles that could lead to his firing. He's pleaded not guilty to these charges, but there's another trial looming for a separate incident with different complainants. He's charged with assault, uttering threats, and possession of cocaine. There's also a DUI charge from last October, and hanging over it all, the charges of fraud and breach of trust related to his Senate expense claims. Evan Dyer, CBC News, Ottawa.